eating your waffles and Moons stuff. Moons over my hammy was yeah. my yeah. order in college. Oh so gosh. awkward just seeing people dance. So right. the third leg the third of the triple, jewel crown. Of the triple okay. crown. But it's not the Belmont that's happening in New York. Because the Orioles are coming to play the Yankees in a big series. Right. It's the Balmont. The Balmont. So we're going we're gonna, to, itself. I mean, Brandon Hyde's probably. It would be one of the best rotations in the game. Add Julio Arias to the list, a left hamstring strain. He was hit hard by the Cardinals last time, Matt, and you could tell he didn't feel himself. Who replaces Red Hot Orioles in town? What a series that's going to be. J.P. Morosi on the inside corner. Appreciate it, as always. Thanks, Lauren. Astros fans living well after their seventh straight win this week, and you would have to go back to May 13th to find the last time they lost the game. What? It was a happy flight to Milwaukee, and they slept easy knowing they had Christian Javier on the mound. It was a 3 2 5 with 59 strikeouts. Corbin Burns will be ready for the Brewers. You can bet on that. The Rays are at home hosting Toronto, and not much has slowed down after the ridiculous start. Their 34 and 14 record, good enough for the best winning percentage in all the game, but Chris Bassett threw the ball well. Last time out, he's thrown 27 consecutive scoreless innings heading into the series opener. Going to be fun. And the Red Sox playing an impossible division, but taking two or three against the Padres. They'll take that all day. And tonight, Tanner Houck on the mound. 938 from Angel Stadium. Can't wait game and a half. They have quite a gauntlet ahead of them this week. L.A. facing the NL East leading Braves in a three-game series starting tonight. And then after an off day, Thursday, L.A. facing the AL East leading Rays. What in a 2020 World Series rematch in Tampa this weekend, Robert? Ooh.